good morning. It is day 21. So, last night at the Warner Springs Community Center, one of the volunteer staff folk um, grilled up burgers and dogs at 4 p.m. So we decided, uh, given the heat yesterday, we wanted to just grab food, then head out and just do a few miles to get out of town, get the flat bit over with so that we can immediately get up early and start the uphill <clears throat> um, <clears throat> before the heat hit, because today is going to be like 86 degrees in Warner Springs. That's not fun to go up exposed hills in. And so that didn't happen because we had burgers and dogs, and it was glorious. And by the time we were done with that, um, and we did like pack up basically beforehand, it was like it's like 6 p.m. or something like that by the time we finished like chatting with other hikers and whatnot in the area and that just it would have ended up having us get <clears throat> even the close tent site like basically the sun was setting and I just didn't want to do that and I kind of half regret it um, because uh, it's I think we're probably gonna get out of here by about 8 a.m. and that means that the heat's going to starting to be hit as we go up that hill. So what we're probably going to do is just do a five mile day or 5.4 to get to um, get to a, a tent site and water area where it's not horribly exposed. There's not too bad a wind. That way tomorrow we'll get up early, get through the biggest chunk of elevation, and just go from there. So honestly, it's it's overall a better progression um, and well we're well rested now besides the sleep thing sleep thing we're not but bodies are well rested so I'm going to eat breakfast with my heaviest food so it's not in my bag because I have eight pounds of food um, actually more like nine and a half <clears throat> so I'm gonna get through some food the nice thing is is when you resupply you if you eat well for a few days, if for no other reason, then you go, I want my food bag to be lighter, so I'm going to work on it. But there is water three miles out, so I'm just going to have a liter walking out of town, so that'll be nice. It'll be really pretty light. But that's about it. I will show you these as we go. Time to finally keep going. We finally left town, or at least the Warner Springs Resource Center area. Um, there's lots of stuff to deal with today. It's like 11 o'clock or something like that. So not when we wanted to leave on a hot day, but it just is what it is. Chelsea's uh, Sawyer broke. It just was leaking water out of the middle of it. So had to deal with that and getting it ready, etc. And just we're slow and just lots of stuff. So we're finally getting out. I'm a bit sleepy, but not feeling too bad. It's not hot out yet, but the sun is just intense. So I got my sunbrella out and just gonna get moving. We're only going 5.4 to a campsite surrounded by water. And so early in the morning, we will get up and uh, get up that damn hill before more heat hits. Um, Friday overall, there's supposed to be a storm across the whole area that's probably gonna dump more snow and stuff. So things are just looking like we're gonna hit snow one way or the other soon. So more updates on that as the story develops. <laughs> Gotta say, plus past Warner Springs, it's just gorgeous. It's another one of those, this is the desert, and you're like, but is it now? And I do see a, a hill of cacti, but still trees all over the place that would be here throughout the, the harsher season, so it must get some, some kind of rain here in the lower elevation. But let's head that way. See, now that actually looks like desert. Not all the trees inside of it do, and none of this really does besides the cactus. <laughs> I know this is a tired line of conversation, but it's just the wonder of finding an area that isn't what you expect and has a certain kind of beauty mixed with when you finally actually find stuff that looks like you expect. Like I said, it actually looks like desert now. Can see there is some moisture around here though if we got here early in the morning who knows 
may have been enough to get something from. Probably not, but... And two seconds later, grass. <laughs> and by the way, if, if anyone can tell me, is what is that structure for? Is that some kind of like actual movement training, old style? I, I don't know what that is, and I'd love for someone to tell me. And uh, previous topics, though, I'd mentioned my pack weight, and I do have to say, well, we're only a hundred miles in and change. <clears throat> My gear is going really, really well. I'm really happy with what I'm carrying and directly related with the weight. The Osprey pack is really comfy. Ooh, there's warnings. I want to know what it is. <laughs> but uh, we were chatting with the Liverpool hikers while we were uh, in a Warner Springs. And I think they both have a Gossamer gear Mariposa and the gentleman, it was just, oh, I was just digging into his shoulders. Because with those packs, you really, your total load really should be like 20, 25 or under. Which with my gear, I, oh, I'm certainly not. So I just have to express gratefulness that, you know, the Osprey's been really comfy. And they're really rugged bags. So it's a uh, gear choice I've been very happy with. And well, it's going to be interesting... Having a bear can, given that I have nine pounds of food, I, that's the size of a bear can anyway, so it should plenty. So many cool trees. To wax poetic say, the tree does not worry about being perfect or ugly. We don't look at a tree and say, hey, that's hideous. Just saying. Yeah, I saw it on the other side. Oh, yeah. Lots of underpasses on this trail. Safer and easier than going over the highway. That looks healthy. You tell me that's not what you want to see in the desert. Where you, since we're only doing 5.4 today, we're gonna find a spot to stop and have a good lunch. It's about 1.30, so we've been going the heat of the day and a little bit of overcast has passed. So we're just gonna soak in some shade, maybe soak our feet. There's supposed to be a campsite right around the corner, but honestly, we may stop here just because it's just too gorgeous and the water will be nice. So we'll catch you in a bit. So, we've only done like two and a half, three miles. I don't know, not much. But we came across a water source and it was in the shade. I'm gonna have to move in a minute, but it's the heat of the day. We're only doing like two and a half more miles or two. So I have no reason to move for the next like hour or two. And it's just a gorgeous babbling brook with cold water. So this is the life. It's one of those, if, if we'd won the lottery, this is what we'd be doing anyway, so. See you in a bit. I'm gonna do exactly what I'm doing, but without the camera. Just getting better and better views of the fields we are going through as we go up. We're getting pretty close. 
something under a mile to go to water in our camp space. Chelsea's been fighting off a pre-migraine, so we're going pretty slow and just trying to manage that. So it's definitely nice that we don't have much elevation or much distance to do today. And then this little bit today, though, should uh, put us in a good position to get to good water and decent camping tomorrow, get up the hill, hopefully early, fueled by coffee since Shayla, David, if you're watching this, I love you both. We just got uh, our coffee, our instant Arabica coffee and heavy cream powder and we have some honey packets and so tomorrow morning we're going to start with our first real trail coffee that wasn't us staying in town too long. <laughs> so looking forward to tomorrow. It's nice to get back out here. It's gorgeous. It definitely has a different feel today. And as you saw, just like it has been the whole time so far, really, every mile mostly feels really different. And when it doesn't, it tends to be really gorgeous. So it's been very cool. We're going through these like shredded manzanita forests, but ground's getting slippery. So see you at the watering hole. Good evening, everybody. Well, we made our 5.4 miles or whatever it is, 5.2 or something like that I think is where we ended up. Nice little creek that we're going to have to technically ford in the morning. It's pretty small, but it'll still be enough to get shoes wet. Um, it's a group of other people here, which is nice, so kind of cooking slash eating dinner, dinner together to an extent. Um, we kind of have a bit of a shitty tent spot, at least as far as what we've gotten to have so far. It's not totally even. It's right next to some swarming ants. Um, it's not flat, but it'll do. It at least seems pretty wind sheltered and it's not so tilted that we'll fall, so it, it should do okay. And if not, you know, the ants will have eaten us. But we're both just feeling tired. We got too much sun today is this little mileage as we did. So that's probably it for the day really. Tomorrow we're going to do a bigger chunk. I'm going to really try to start it early and punch out that uh, elevation early in the day as well as uh, it is going to be cooler. So might see you later, but probably not. So see you tomorrow.